Hello again, uh, fellow YouTubers and Pirates alike. Uh, this is uh, Mad Dog here, and I'm just doing a request for Dominator Campbell. Um, he was inquiring about a Citadel build, but he wanted to see it with the actual Judgment Mortars. So, this is what I got built up so far. I only put on a couple pieces of armor because, you know, weight-wise and stuff like that. Um, so um, it is a gar it is a garrison class uh, boat. So um, what I did is I I put on the judgments as you can see, but I also since we don't have incendiary incendiary warheads anymore, I went ahead and I put on the combustion system two uh, with counter mo countermeasure loaders two, which um, if you read down below here, just because I kept the mouse there, the penetrating, ballistic, mortar, and rocket reloads are all right there. It, that means it'll it'll reload a lot faster to where you're constantly throwing or lofting the uh, mortars and everything else. And just as uh, as an extra added bonus, I was going to put on the uh, Cluster Warheads 3, which would have made them fire a lot faster, too, but I figure I'm going to just go ahead and try the countermeasure loaders first. <clears throat> now, with the Combustion System 2, which I think the 3 will be probably a little bit better, but once we get it, we get it. No problem. I'm not worried about that. <clears throat> The projectile speed is at 30%. The spread and the splash, well, the spread is at 20%. With well, the splash will be at 60, which means whatever it hits, it's going to take out its neighbors. Okay. So um, that's one of my builds right there, which I'm going to save that stuff because I'm not, no, I'm not going to. I've already said what I was going to build later, and even though I'm building uh, an Apollo for the raid, it's only going to be, this this Apollo is only going to be used for the uh, the quarterly raid. That's all I'm going to use it for. So I'm going to put the Citadel in, in its spot, because I think that's where I originally had it. So I'll put Citadel and everything else, and I'll save it. There we go. All done. Now, as far as my Zealous, I'm going to turn that into an actual tank. And this is one, one ship I'd like to build. I'm going to clear that out. And everything else. <clears throat> now, remember, you can build a ship, but you got to put a weapon on it. So, what I would do is, what I would do is, is um, let's see, where's that switchblade? Uh, ah, there it is. Right there, he put put some switchblades on. Da 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 da. And um, your switchblades are your anti missiles. Now I just recently acquired the Phalanx Four, which you know it's got some range on it, but you know if you're gonna use something. You know, use your switchblades because they'll now with the switchblades, they have flak evasion. The reload time is at four seconds, and but the range on them is uh, it says as far as the attack, it's 15 to 30. But you also got to look at the secondary weapon. 
Okay, the secondary weapon is a missile, and its range is at 76%. Accuracy is 100, and it has a flak evasion. So, when you build it, you know, you know you've got the missiles to do it with. So, but you can only put a certain amount of these bad boys on there and everything. So I would put I would put these on just uh, as a you know just to help with knocking down the uh, MERVs and everything else. Now, if I chose to put a Flanx Four on there, which I probably would or wouldn't. Because I'm looking at the weight and it take on more, but you see the reload time, as you can see, is 4.67 seconds. Okay, that's just under. But you see one thing about it: that the flanks four, that the flanks, t uh, all the flanks comes up with, it counters missiles and UAVs. Now with uh, um, Switchblade anti-missile, it does the same thing, but the penetrating defense is higher than the switchblade. Or, wait a minute, no, corrosive defense is at 3%, and then the penetrating defense is at 15% for the flanks. So you can put, you know, both of them on, you know, but I wouldn't recommend it. It, it would be just a, uh, uh, how would you say? Um, uh, whatever, you know. But um, the one thing I would do is when you're when you're putting on the uh, extra mortars and stuff like that, I guess you have to put on. There. I can probably put on a few more things, but um, for uh, other, you know, if you want to have a little bit more to where you want to put some on there that to where the hull is going to be able to, to defend itself if something happens. And when that, with that being said, I would probably go with a uh, with a rail gun, you know, like the rail gun D10 or the Arbalest, it doesn't matter. You put the rail gun on, it's gonna, you wanna make sure it's gonna stay in the game. Okay, that's what it's there for. Just stay in the game. Or you can put on uh, like these PACs, which I love these, let me tell you, I love them, okay. Just the uh, trigger itself has a cooldown of 10 seconds, but the reload time is three. It takes three seconds for it to reload and everything else. So, you know, I would definitely put those on just to kind of, um, you know, give it something to defend itself with where it's going to take something out if... Uh, if all your other ships get destroyed. So, and let's put on a few more PACs. Or you can put on, man, let's see, let's see what the Calamity, you can put on the Calamity scatter guns too. Those, let me tell you, damn good. But also, it helps add more damage as far as your attack points. So, yeah, let's see. Put those on. Because those have a range of 85, so. Put those bad boys on and let them fly. I'm planning on redoing all my previous builds after I get done building a couple of fleets of one. I'm going to uh, 
um, erase that one and come up with a with a newer build because I've got so much builds on the back burner it ain't been funny and you can also build these um, with just the weapons on just to you know and then you know you put your specials on or whatever later on okay you don't have to put everything on at once I'm putting on some uh, Hellstorm anti-mortars because uh, those will fire off a lot faster and it'll help out with the switchblades as well. So if you've got the Zealous, build it. Okay, definitely build it. Put the Calamities on there, put some uh, switchblades. You got one hell of a tank. But make sure you, when you do put those on put on the uh, countermeasure loaders uh, but uh, put a speed system on it that's one thing I, I, I totally go with is speed system uh, two to fight to fight off the uh, Sarah came in and shut the door. And asked you to play again. Okay. I turned right. up the TV. Okay. And I threw you over the wing. Okay. Does that make sense? Yes. <sighs> Plus corrosive barrels. Plus corrosive canisters. It's good for your calamities. Sorry, the wife walked in. But um, to get back to it, um, put whatever specials you think is going to work, okay? Um, these right here, anything that you put on there, it's going to help. It's going to boost the combat speed. It's going to, if you, this right here, I'm not even really worried about that one right now. But um, this right here, that's what I put on. The resonance capacitator. And, but if you had the, you know, the PACs on, the one thing I would definitely go with is, uh, son of a buck, um, I would put on the emissions generator. Okay. Missions generator is good for one simple reason. It it pairs well with the particle accelerator. Okay, it doesn't just shoot out one, it shoots out two of the same thing. Bolts of energy that'll take out um, a level 102 base with no ifs, ands, buts about it. But since I don't have that, what I'm going to do is the, I'm going to put this on, the, the shield attack system one. Now, I'm going to try to go for the, the two and the three just to kind of, you know, get them out of the way and stuff like that. Because the, more, the higher this is, the better it'll work. Now, I don't have hardly any more space for the uh, armor but what I'm going to do is I'm going to put on what I can okay really take your time you always want to put on something that's going to weigh less okay the, le the less you have on there the better off you are Now, I might be able to get by with, uh, with just getting, let's see, what's this? Okay, Xenthanite armor, penetrating defense. As a, and, but when you do put your, choose your armor, look at the very bottom on the repair duration. Okay, 